Hello and welcome back everyone. In this video we're gonna explore one of the uh, very important mathematical modeling tools in a controls class. We're gonna discuss what is a step function and sometimes it is known as, uh, most electrical engineers would refer to it as the Heaviside function, okay? So if you ever hear an electrical engineer say Heaviside function, they basically mean, they're basically talking about a step function, all right? They're basically one and the same. Heaviside was basically the guy, the guy who found, who basically came up with this function, the guy who came up with the step function, the model, okay? All right, so let's, uh, let's show you an example of a step function all right let's say you turn on the light you turn on the light switch in your study room you're about to study controls and you want to turn on the light switch all right all right turning on uh, turning on a switch uh, opening a shut opening a open shut off valve those kind of processes they are modeled by the step function and why and how we're gonna explore the why and how of this question right now so let's say we have some variable that is varying with time that can vary with time all right and we have our time on the x-axis the horizontal axis and the variable on the vertical axis all right and our variable there is darkness before we turn on the room there's darkness before we turn on the light in our room so our function our variable our output variable is going to stay at zero and suddenly when we turn on the light it goes from zero to a high value so it goes from a low to a high quote unquote all right this is a simple sig this is a very basic terminology used in signals processing nothing fancy so you're going from a high to a low and usually the high and low since they're very bin they're binary states low is often represented as zero and high is represented as, represented as one and this graph that we've just seen here this can be written as the function of t or let's say sorry x of t the variation in x with respect to time x is our time dependent variable it shall be written as u of t this is the notation used in most uh, dfq textbooks most dfq textbooks are going to use u of t and when they say u of t you, they just mean the step function or the heavy side function dfq textbooks textbook notation all right well done and just to elaborate it u of t will be equal to one it shall be equal to one at t greater than or equal to zero and u shall be equal to zero at t less than zero so that's basically the very formal definition of the step function also known as the heaviside function all right, and let's just li list some examples. Let's just li list some examples real quick that real life processes that can be modeled via a step function. So I have, we've already talked about turning on a light bulb, turning on light switch, um, opening a shut off valve, I believe that's the correct term. Please pardon me for my wrong diction. A shut off on off valve. I'm just going to call it on off valve. All right. So opening an on off valve, the flow profile, the flow rate, the variation flow rate with respect to time can be modeled by a step function. Okay. Now let me show you some examples. Uh, in most cases, you are going to have a high and you are going to have, oh, sorry, you are, you are going to have a low, my bad the low here and you are going to have a high but very often very often in almost majority of the cases they're not going to be equal to one and their value is not going to be equal to zero 
okay so then that's not going to be the case and what shall we do in those cases let's see here i'm going to draw an other step response or step function let's say y of t shows a step variation and initially the value of y is equal to 3 okay and instead of stepping up at 0 the value of y steps up at t equals 2 and if you remember previously the change the delta x was equal to 1 this time let's say the delta the change in our variable is not equal to 0 but it goes up by an additional 3 units all right how do we represent this response meaning how do we write the function that represents y of t let's start off with a very basic and um, we know that it is a step response that part we know it is a step response it is a step response that is shifted right it is shifted right okay it's not starting at it's not stepping up at zero it's stepping up stepping up at plus two by two units okay and it's it is also shifted up by how many units it's um, the initial value is not zero the initial value is three so it's shifted up by three units and it is also scaled the increase is not equal to one unit the increase is equal to as you can see the increase is equal to three units six minus three three scaled by a factor of three all right so these are all the transformations our function has gone over and we can implement each and every transformation step by step so the first transformation shift to the right every time you want to shift your function to the right you subtract the number of units you want to shift it to the right shift up if you're shifting up you just add the number of units that you're shifting your functions up and the actual function is the amplitude or the scale of the function has been increased by three so you're just going to add a three in front of the step function the coefficient of the step function becomes three and this is your this becomes your model this becomes your mathematical representation of this response okay very simple very simple okay and uh, just to finish this video i'm just gonna briefly mention the laplace transform of this function so if you were to take the laplace transform of u of t you would get one over s and if you were to take the laplace transform of u of t minus a the transformed step function you're going to get 1 over s multiplied by negative a all right so just to draw the parallel negative a times s beautiful and i'm going to give you the homework now taking the laplace transform of this y of t is going to be your homework just keep in mind that the laplace transform is a linear operator just like the derivative the derivative is a linear operator and let's see where that takes you all right so just to give you a quick recap step function also known as the Hebeside function by our electrical engineering friends Hebeside was just the guy who came up with this model one of the very common commonly encountered examples of the step function is turning on the light switch you go from a low value to a high value that is modeled by a step function and yeah you have your at t less for the standard for the vanilla step function the value is equal to one at time greater than zero or equal to zero and it's zero when time is less than zero All right but in most practical cases like turning on a switch or opening an on off valve and and yeah just uh, don't be a grammar nazi too much all right so something like this is more realistic a step response like this is more you're gonna you're more likely to encounter this than a simple on off and we developed this model by just using the transformation the rules of transformation of a function which 
you should have covered in calc or pre-calc but some of you have forgotten and that's okay we're just here to help and finally the Laplace transform all right I hope this was helpful and thank you very much all right